released in the fight for COVID, supposedly new spread today that Pfizer have developed a vaccine that is 90% effective, 90%. I think this might be the first one so far that I've read that's kind of had this result. I think they've had a couple of trials that have had run into some issues, uh, you know, naturally as you're putting together a vaccine in record time. But this news is definitely some welcome respite in terms of what's going on because of course we're, we're heading into the winter months, you know, flu season. It feels like it's going to be a little bit more, it's going to be even more tricky than we have, we actually anticipated in terms of getting the numbers down of infections and cases and whatever it may be in hospitalizations. Most, you know, most parts of, you know, Western Europe, Central Europe and parts of North America are really suffering in a big way. And there doesn't seem to be any other logical way out of this apart from just having a vaccine. I think everyone's reached um, lockdown fatigue in some way, shape or form. Um, even the ones like myself who have kind of abided by the rules for the most part, I just want to get this thing over and done with, man. I could, you know, I, I just, I just want to get this over and done with. So this is the headline from The Guardian says, hopes rise as for an end of pandemic as Pfizer says the vaccine is 90% effective. Great to hear. Zoom this in a little bit so I can read it. It says, um, hopes are sorry that a COVID vaccine is within reach. Following news that an interim analysis has shown that the Pfizer BioNTech candidate was 90% effective in protecting people from transmission of the virus in global trials. Amazing. The vaccine performed much better than most experts had hoped for, according to the company's analysis, and brings into view a potential end to a pandemic that has killed more than a million people. Jesus Christ. Battered economies and upended daily life worldwide the data is from an interim analysis and the trial continues into december but the headline results were empathetic regulators will be looking to the process um, and the emergency license application at a record speed global stocks surge um, to record highs on the news um, while companies that have become synonymous with lockdowns in the west including zooms videos conferencing and food delivery firms saw falls in their value okay that's interesting isn't it so the ebbs and flows of the stock market um you know, if you put some money in there you're probably laughing now he continues, John Bell, Regis Professor of Medicine at Oxford University, who was involved with the Oxford vaccine, said that the Pfizer team has shown an amazing level of, of efficacy and it could mean a return to normality by spring. Jesus Christ. I'm the first guy to say that, but I will say it with some confidence, he told BBC. So, interesting he says that. I'm still of the, what did I say prior? I said I think my guess or my bet would be when I say in return to normality, whatever you were doing this time last year, because I was looking at some of my images, you know, I was like flipping fold um, uh, this time last year for the Innovisions label night, right? One of the best nights, right? Super, super fun. So whatever you were doing then, I say the first, you know, the, the soon, the, the earliest you could probably do that, I would say would be the end of spring or the beginning of winter next year. Or, opt or realistically, I'd say 2022. Now, if this guy is saying normality, no, you know, back to normality, sorry, by spring of next year, that's pretty encouraging, right? He's maybe saying, what, April onwards, we'll probably be back to some level of normality, which is pretty encouraging. And, and th that's mostly because of the vaccine. I think my estimation prior was just more so, okay, how long can world economies afford to stay um, close or restricted in movement in whatever shape or form without a vaccine i think you'd have to return to some level of normality before the end of the year or you know the beginning of next year you couldn't have or sorry the beginning of 2022 yeah before the end of yeah that's how you'd have to do that because there's no you know there's only so much economies can take up people not freely moving around contributing to tourism and all that sort of malarkey but if there's a vaccine in place you know things can speed up you know within six to eight months right and it can really open stuff up and give people more room to you know grow to basically get acclimatized of what's going to go on newly it's just really really encouraging that so it continues here manufacturing is already underway Pfizer said they expect to supply globally up to 50 million vaccine doses in 2020 up to 1.3 billion doses in 2021 countries will decide who they prioritize for the vaccinations in the UK the Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunization has recommended that presuming the vaccines work well enough in elderly people the first vaccines go to care home workers and residents which is ironic considering they didn't really give a shit about them but hey uh, followed by anyone over 80 
and then other um, health and social workers. After that, people are expected to get them in decreasing age order. That's pretty cool. The news comes too late to help Donald Trump's re-election campaign in the US, but Vice President Mike Pence tried to claim that the administration Operation Wall Street program had helped the vaccine development. Pfizer denied the suggestion. <laughs> we were never part of the warp speed. Catching um, the senior vice president of the head of the vaccine research development, Pfizer said in the interview, we have never taken any money from the US government or anyone. <laughs> who knows man maybe they did do some again no one wants to be associated with a loser so i'm sure fires are wanna you know hitch their ride on the joe budden train joe biden joe budden train but um i'm sure it had something to do with it definitely because it was in, it, it, as much as trump did a bad job in dealing with covid in the states it was in his interest to get it sorted i'm sure he was doing anything within his power you know he suggested people in he, su he suggested people should you know inject bleach into their veins or into their bloodstream in order to get rid of the virus right um so if that's the case you knew he was desperate for a vaccine because he knew if he was able to restart the economy and kind of be the first country in the west to be back quote unquote he could really use that as part of his slogan of getting things done and you know using it as one of his uh things to kind of rally behind but unfortunately, that didn't obviously happen. Um, BioNTech, the small biotechnology bio, uh, company that is the originator of the vaccine, was founded by two married German scientists, Uga Sahin and Oslem Turek, both born to Turkish immigrant parents and the Austrian oncologist Christopher Huber. Interesting that, isn't it? Considering how poorly Turkish migrants are treated within Germany, for the two for the founders of the company that's spearheading the vaccine to be of turkish descent is oh the karmic the karmic uh get back on that one is high it said it originally set out to develop new types of um immune immunotherapy for cancer but has concentrated its capacities on the race for a covid19 vaccine there are so far no safety concerns around the vaccine, with two companies reporting no serious side effects. The high percentage of those protected makes it especially compelling. Regulators have previously said that they would approve the vaccine that was just 50% effectiveness rate, protecting half of those who get vaccinated. Jesus. So if they would, yeah, so if they would roll out 50% and 90% was going to be high. So today is a great day for all science and humanity. The first set of results from the phase three COVID-19 vaccine trials provides the initial evidence of our vaccine ability to prevent COVID-19, said Dr. Albert Bola, the Pfizer chairman and chief executive. He says we are reaching this critical milestone in our vaccine development program at the same time when the world needs it most with the infection rate setting new records, hospitalization nearing overcapacity and the economy struggling to reopen. Yeah. It's definitely, it's just needed, isn't it? Over a million deaths, man. It's just absolutely mad, isn't it? 1.5 million deaths. Wow, wow, wow. What a crazy time to be alive. Yeah, glad we did some light in the tunnel, thankfully. Let's hope um, the trials continue to go well and we see a vaccine um, rolled out to the entire public very, very, very soon.